I, I was swollen for a while. Um, I actually went on a little camping trip right after my hmm. surgery, even when I had my stitches in my eyes, um, where we just stayed in a cabin for two nights and I was out in West Virginia. So um, I was very comfortable on the trip. Um, I took one of the Tylenol with codeine and that was it. Um, so I felt very comfortable. The one thing that was a good tip for me was when the stitches felt a little bit of, a little bit dry, I put a little dab of coconut oil on my fingers and just put them, dab my fingers on the um, incisions and that helped me um, a lot, just where the stitches felt more moist and I felt like I could open my eyes and uh, move my eyes more comfortably. When I look in the mirror, I feel more like my older, my younger self, where I don't look as angry or stressed, you know, and I feel happier, like I, I look as happy as I feel on the inside. And I'm also happier that I can wear eyeshadow where I can see, you know, different colors because now I have an eyelid and I'm able to play around with eyeshadow, um, you know, and really play around with the distinct colors. My friend Michelle uh, referred me to Dr. Berman. She had wonderful things to say about him and she'd been seeing, uh, she'd been his client for a long time. So she gave me the referral and I'm really glad that she did. I would just say to take your time, you know, take your time, uh, don't rush into it. Um, but I would also say that when you do it, do it right. Give yourself enough time to recover. You know, I like to say like, come a little bit early for your appointment. Be able to sit and relax. Um, have a good friend who can drive you home after surgery. Someone who is gonna be supportive of you to let you take your time um, so that you don't feel rushed.